Hello, I'm Jenny Fong, Group Manager of the Technical Marketing Team for vCloud Air. One of the benefits of a true hybrid cloud is the ability to manage your on-premises and off-premises workloads through the same management tools. Today, we'll take a closer look at how you can use your existing VMware solutions to manage both your on-premises vSphere environment and vCloud Air. First, let's discuss how this is different than adopting any other public cloud. Customers who adopt incompatible public clouds tell us, one, they have to use different tools to manage on-site and public cloud workloads. Two, they can't easily migrate workloads between their on-site data centers and the public cloud. And finally, it's difficult to enforce consistent policies and standards across the two environments. So they end up treating the public cloud as a different, incompatible, siloed environment. That keeps their business from realizing the full value of the hybrid cloud. But it doesn't have to be that way. With vCloud Air, VMware delivers a cloud that's built hybrid first. That means the customers can use one set of tools and processes to manage on-site data center and cloud-based workloads. This reduces the cost, risk, and effort of moving to the cloud, benefiting admins, managers, and the business as a whole. Treating it as one environment instead of separate entities increases your productivity and having one set of tools for automation, administration, and monitoring of your entire environment improves your company's return on its investments. VMware management tools that manage your on-premises virtual environment are also designed to support vCloud Air, allowing you to get more out of your existing tools and skill sets. Let's take a closer look at each of these. The vSphere client is the primary tool for managing vSphere environments. It's the tool most virtualization admins are familiar with. From your vSphere web client, you can also administer your vCloud Air resources. First, install vCloud Air vSphere client plugin. This is a free download that allows you to administer your vCloud Air resources from the vSphere web client. It gives you consistent user experience without having to switch between your vSphere web client and the public cloud web portal. Now, if you have vSphere 5.5 update one and above, this is already installed for you. You just need to activate it. The vCloud Air plugin appears as a badge in your Inventories tab in the web client. When you select the plugin, you'll be able to manage all of your virtual data centers, seeing what templates and virtual machines are assigned to each virtual data center, editing its settings, and creating new virtual machines and gateways. You can also administer your virtual machines, power them on, off, suspend, editing their CPU, RAM, and storage allocations. You can also initiate replication to vCloud Air disaster recovery from this plugin. The point is you're using the same vSphere web client to manage both your on-premises and cloud environments. And if you are a VI admin experienced with the vSphere web client, you already know how to use it. Let's move on to migration. vCloud Connector makes it easy to migrate virtual machines in either direction, from your vSphere-based on-site environment to vCloud Air or to any other vSphere-based public cloud, and vice versa. Here, when we say easy, we mean that there's no charge to migrate workloads from on-site to vCloud Air and back, and you don't have to lift and shift or wrap it in a hypervisor to move it across the new environment. This is great for your software development lifecycle, where you can build apps in vCloud Air and bring them back to your on-prem data center for production. The content sync feature of vCloud Connector also lets you synchronize your virtual machine templates across different clouds, including vCloud Air. Using content sync, you can keep a master library of templates and push them to the different clouds. Subscribe to content published in the master library so any new templates are automatically added into the local library. This means you can reuse your golden vSphere environment templates in the cloud and have your developers use only company-approved templates. vCloud Connector also supports lossless copying, which means that a multi-virtual machine vApp that's created on-premises can be copied to vCloud Air while maintaining all its firewall rules. 
That means less manual work to rebuild an entire application from one environment to another. vRealize Operations is a set of solutions for managing and monitoring your data center. vRealize Operations has three distinct capabilities for managing vCloud Air. Infrastructure monitoring, OS, middleware, and app monitoring, and compliance. Let's first take a look at infrastructure monitoring. With the vRealize Operations Management Pack for vCloud Air, you can now gather metrics from vCloud Air and present them to the vRealize Operations uh, Centralized Monitoring Tool. The Management Pack includes out-of-the-box dashboards for VM performance, utilization, as well as heat maps. Using vRealize Operations also improves the ability to troubleshoot issues across both on-prem and vCloud Air. This is great for applications that may be distributed across both locations. vRealize Operations also includes Hyperic for OS, middleware, and app-level monitoring. It includes 75 out-of-the-box analytical packages to help you manage things like IIS, SQL Server, and so on. And combined with the vRealize Operations Management Pack, provides deep insight into your hybrid cloud applications. The final component of vRealize Operations is its configuration management features. You can use this to deploy security patches in vCloud Air exactly the same way you do your current on-premises vSphere environment. vRealize Operations also includes the ability to audit and report compliance with PCI, HIPAA, and other regulatory and security-focused frameworks. It lets you add vCloud Air to audit reports your security teams are used to receiving, simply by adding the environment as a target endpoint. Next, we're going to describe two capabilities of vRealize Automation. The first one is your ability to use it as a self-service portal and service catalog. By integrating vCloud Air with vRealize Automation, you can control access to applications and clouds on a user-by-user -user basis and build workflows into the self-service catalog to manage multi-level approval processes that span the hybrid cloud. For example, you can build different catalog items so that developers build their test dev workloads in vCloud Air, but request different resources on-prem for production. The second capability of vRealize Automation is the application services feature designed to help you manage application deployment. Application services lets you blueprint applications, not just virtual machines and operating systems, and not just middleware or code, but your entire application stack, and then replicate it across any cloud you wish. Application services really shines for sandboxing and quickly spinning up test environments, or for emergency break-fix scenarios, all using predefined, corporate approved components. This is what the application director canvas looks like when you're creating an application blueprint. You just drag and drop components onto the canvas to build the blueprint from OS and server templates, middleware and application services components, and application components. This tool works as a collaboration tool that helps teams agree upon what their shared blueprint looks like. Here, the IT admin checks and approves the OS images so the enterprise architect knows their standardized components approved by the IT team. So to circle back, vCloud Air is essentially a software-defined data center in the cloud that we allow you to extend your existing internal data center to in a very seamless fashion. You can leverage the tools, processes, and skill sets you already have to manage both your on-prem and cloud-based workloads. All VMware tools and processes are designed to help you manage your cloud environments with one experience, one set of tools and workflows, and one support call to VMware. Thank you for your time. For more information, please consult the resources at vcloud.vmware.com or follow the links in the VMware Cloud Academy eBook.